What's up guys, my name is Alan and welcome to today's Wix tutorial. And today's video is all about cookies and privacy disclaimers. That's right, when users visit your website, we're going to learn how to allow them to opt in or opt out of essential cookies, marketing cookies, and any other cookies that your website is going to collect. We're also going to show you guys how to show the user which cookies they collect, uh, which cookies you collect, and how to actually allow users to view your privacy policy on your current website. So if you're new to Wix.com, you obviously have to have a website. So go to Wix.com, sign up, and choose any of the templates, click on publish, and you should notice that your website will eventually be on your dashboard. This video is really just for users who've already who, who already have a website. Again, if you're new to Wix, follow those instructions. I have other videos on my channel on how to create a website, so look at any other video. But for today's video, we're going to go ahead and continue our tutorial on how to add cookies and show a cookie disclaimer on our current website. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Go to Wix.com, open up your dashboard, and select your current website. You can add this disclaimer on all the websites, but again, we need to go ahead and look at one website at a time and so I can teach you guys exactly how to do it. Let's go ahead and select a website by click, hovering over your website, clicking select site, and you'll notice that your website has a URL, could be your domain www.mystunningwebsite.com. And what we wanna do here is we wanna simply just click on the URL so that we can see our current website. In this current example, our website that we have here does not offer a cookie disclaimer. There isn't even a privacy policy, which is a big issue. So let's go ahead and try to figure this out together. Let's go ahead and go back under my dashboard and simply click on the left-hand side, settings. From there, again, to the left-hand side, you'll notice something called privacy and cookies. This is a great new feature from Wix.com. So the very first thing you'll realize is that the privacy and cookies section within your dashboard allows you to manage literally everything, including privacy uh, regulations such as GDPR or CCPA for California, and uh, basically allows you to control and uh, allows the user to control which cookies they'd like to opt into and which cookies they'd like to opt out from. So essential cookies, marketing cookies, you name it. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do to display a cookie banner to our users is look at the display cookies consent banner right here. And on the right hand side, just simply click get started. From there, what we want to do is simply toggle, turn on this toggle, and we're pretty much there. Let's go ahead and now set up um, what our actual disclaimer will tell the user. So you'll notice that within the section below the toggle, it says text and display setting. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys optimize this to the best of your ability for your styling, for your design, for your verbiage. But generally, this is the area you need to be in when designing your actual cookie banner. So you can choose stuff, for example, dark. As you can see on the right hand side, uh, my little automated banner changes black, it goes white, doesn't matter. You can choose options such as what does the consent button say? Ours currently says accept, yours could say accept cookies or I accept, it doesn't matter. Again, these are just simple texts that you can go ahead and change and, and we're going to look at the live website together to see exactly how it looks. We're going to go ahead, if you scroll down one more, one more time, this is the actual snippet of the disclaimer. So you'll want to go ahead and change this uh, if you had some legal advice, of course, but by default, this should be more than enough uh, for any information-based website. If you have an e-commerce website, really look into the appropriate cookie message, uh, but this is exactly where we need to be. So by default, um, as long as we turn on our cookie banner, as long as we basically customize what we wanna say here, basically allow what, what the consent is right here, and the only last thing we really need to worry about is the cons uh, the privacy policy. So it's important to have a privacy policy. Uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how to add the privacy policy uh, into your Wix website by simply creating a privacy page, adding some tags, and that's basically it. So before we launch this little cookie banner, we wanna go ahead and simply say, hey, let's go back into our dashboard here. Bottom left-hand corner, let's click on edit site, and let's go ahead and open up our editor. Before I simply uh, save and publish on the top right hand corner of my cookie consent, I really want to make sure I get my privacy page set up, add some privacy text there, and then simply link my privacy link right to that specific page. So currently right now, it, it doesn't have anything in regards to privacy, but we're going to go ahead within our editor. So open up our editor. Here we are. It looks great. And uh, what we're going to do, left hand side, the add toggle, what we're going to also do is go back to the, sorry, Left hand side, click on uh, pages and menu, 
click on add page and what we're going to do is we're just going to add another page called policy and within this page we're simply going to click on the add button grab some text and we're just going to move the text right about here we're going to move it right about here and what we're also going to do is we're going to go back into where we were looking at the cookies and consent scroll down to the privacy policy and it says add a link to your privacy policy we recommend linking a cookie banner and a privacy policy together need a policy learn more so let's go ahead and click on learn more and this will hopefully give you a good idea of the type of content you need to write for your privacy policy again this isn't the right way to really do it by simply copying and pasting this my point is is that there's a lot of websites that allow you to write privacy policies but let's go ahead and go back into our editor simply copy and paste this privacy policy again you can find online privacy policies for any website i'm sure again the point is that we're going to go to our page add a privacy policy simply publish once we publish our privacy policy is now in our website we're going to go back to our dashboard and it may not work right away uh, unless you refresh so we're going to go pry privacy policy where is it okay it's not here so um, we're going to go ahead and refresh one time just so we can see our privacy policy we did just publish it in most cases if you have a privacy policy already add a privacy policy page come back here again the text is still going to be the same scroll down and we're going to go ahead and look at where exactly our privacy policy is uh, so store policy right here and we're going to go ahead and click I've read and understood we're going to go ahead and click save and publish and let's go ahead to the live website bottom right hand corner right there as you can see here's my privacy here's the text that was in my current dashboard right here so this is the text and because we've linked a privacy uh, page we, we connected a privacy page create a privacy page uh, users can go ahead and click on privacy page right here and then they can also go ahead and do one extra thing that I'm going to show you guys also. If you actually scroll down all the way to the bottom and click on advanced options, you'll notice that users can go ahead and uh, specifically choose what type of cookies they'd like to opt in or opt out of. So this is very important. You can go ahead and create custom messages for functional cookies, marketing cookies, essential cookies, analytics cookies, which are important if you're connecting uh, Google Analytics. And outside of that, honestly, uh, it isn't really too difficult to, um, it isn't really too difficult. Um, if you've recently changed your cookies, you want to go ahead and click on renew consent. And that will basically uh, reshow that cookie message to that specific user. So outside of that, as long as I'm aware that, okay, I can go to my dashboard on any website I have, on the left-hand side, click on settings and go into the privacy and cookies tab, go ahead and click on the get started tab and simply work with this uh, page. It will allow you to automatically host what used to be a no disclaimer into, hey, a cookie message um, that you can be proud of. So really hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember that if individuals click on cookie settings, they can go ahead and specifically opt in or opt out a specific. So they can obviously opt into essentials, uh, but they can opt out and opt in to other ones such as analytics, uh, functional cookies, and then marketing cookies. So bunch of cool features here. Again, it all starts with your Wix dashboard. Hope this video has helped you understand a little bit about cookies and privacy policies and how you can apply uh, Wix cookies and privacy policies to your Wix website. So this was Alan. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I know it's a little short, but honestly, it's really simple. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much.